In the revenge thriller drama The Glory, a young woman sets off on a long-term plan to get revenge on bullies who tormented her during their high school years. In this video, we'll look at how the series creates compelling characters and discuss one of the characters, Ha Do-young, who is the CEO husband to Park Yeon-jin. Per usual, there will be spoilers for the story of the glory, so I recommend checking out the series before proceeding further. We're looking at the entire first season, consisting of 16 episodes, to see how Do Young is portrayed as a character in this video. During the first eight episodes, Do Young is a somewhat mysterious character. We're introduced to him as the husband of Yeonjin and the father of their daughter, Ye Sol. He's wealthy and works as a CEO for his family's construction company, and always seems to be in control of his emotions in every situation around him. But as dong -un enacts her plans for revenge, Do Young starts to realize that he doesn't fully know the truth about Yeonjin's past, and these information leaks become a threat to his family and his way of life. dong -un initially makes contact with Do Young at a go parlor, where they build a connection over playing the game. There are even hints of a possible romantic interest, or at least a strong emotional connection, that happens between them through playing against each other. Eventually, in the second half of the first season, Do Young starts to piece together the truth about Yeonjin's bullying past, and he walks a fine line between the warring sides of Dong Eun and the other bullies. Do Young is a calculating man who doesn't quickly jump to conclusions, and he knows that it's not in his favor to immediately ally himself with Yeonjin or Dong Eun. Perhaps he approaches life the same strategic way that he tackles a game of Go. When he finally discovers that Ye Sol is not his biological daughter, Do Young reveals himself to still be a loving father as he accepts her and desires to protect her from the war raging between Dong Eun and Yeonjin. It's interesting to see that Do Young shows very little outward affection toward other characters, including Yeonjin, but he is much more open and expressive toward his daughter, Ye Sol. So to dig deeper into Do Young's character, we can ask, what is his series objective? In other words, what is the core need that drives him, even beyond the events of the story? I think that Do Young wants to protect his family at all costs. This drive includes finding out the truth behind Yeonjin's past and eventually severing ties with her, including a public divorce. In the second half of the first season, Do Young openly confronts Yeonjin about her past bullying and her affair with Jae Joon, and he takes further steps to put up defensive walls against her in their marriage. Yeonjin increasingly finds it harder to manipulate him when she starts to lose control of their marriage, her career, and her public reputation. We can also ask, what is Doyoung's core fear? We're asking, what is he most afraid of? I think his core fear ties in closely with his series objective. Throughout the season, he's not that alarmed with any damage being dealt to his construction company business, nor is he completely consumed with trying to salvage his marriage with Yeonjin. In fact, he seems to withdraw more and more from her once he learns about her past. I think Do Young is most concerned with losing his daughter, Ye Sol. When Jae Joon reveals that he's the biological father and tries to make moves to intimidate Do Young, the two men have a brutal fist fight in a parking lot. It's the first time we see another person physically beat Jae Joon, since we usually see him bullying and beating others. And at the season's end, Do Young takes action to remove his daughter, Ye Sol, from her current school and move with her to England so that they can start a new life away from the drama surrounding Yeon Jin and the other bullies. So Do Young is a protective father who exercises his ability to choose who's part of his family and cut off ties once they prove to be damaging to the family he's looking to nurture. Do Young's strategic mindset is probably tied to his obsession with playing the game Go and how the game pushes players to think in calculating ways to take down their opponent. Using that game as a metaphor, Do Young is mostly playing a defensive game for the first half of the season, but switches to an offensive game when he has to protect his daughter. It's interesting to note that he finds a player of equal caliber in Dong Eun, but he doesn't make the jump to clearly align himself with her in the same way that Yo Jong does. When Jae Joon dies by falling into wet concrete at a construction site, we see someone wearing a tie pushing him off the ledge and into the concrete. It's never revealed who this person is, but it's implied that this is likely Do Young because the next scene reveals him wearing a similar tie, walking with his daughter on their way to traveling to England. Filmmaking wise, it's a smart choice to not explicitly show Do Young as the person who pushed Jae Joon and to allow the audience to mentally make that connection. If the filmmakers showed Do Young's face at the construction site, we would have had it cemented in our minds that he is a murderer who got away with the act. But to leave this a little bit more ambiguous gives some breathing room, and we can accept the resolution of Do Young's arc as he leaves with his daughter without feeling any guilt toward him. In some ways, Do Young also is a mirror character to Yeonjin in that they both favor building this outwardly glamorous, thriving lifestyle. 
with their marriage, home, careers, and family. Yeonjin even teases Doyoung for the reason why he married her because of her looks. It's not entirely clear if Doyoung truly loved Yeonjin deeply. Once he saw that she had great liability, with her past resurfacing, he was willing to eventually cut ties with her. I think Doyoung wanted loyalty and trust more than anything else from Yeonjin, and she constantly betrayed this commitment as she tried to navigate getting out of her predicament as Dong Eun enacted her revenge plans. We get to see a rare moment of Doyoung expressing his anger toward Yeonjin in the second half of the season when he reveals he's been holding back so much during this time. This moment is shocking because we usually see him very controlled and reserved, but this explosion is a clear turning point for his character and their relationship. So overall, Doyoung is a fascinating character who adds to the well-rounded cast of the series, bringing in a different perspective to the conflict between Dong Eun and Yeonjin, along with the other bullies. If Dong Eun and Yeonjin are the two extremes on a scale, Doyoung is more ambiguous, or you could say in the gray zone. He maneuvers according to his own agenda, thinking like a strategic game player, and carves his own path as the season comes to an end.